Yeah, look, practice has been outstanding. And, and just, to, just to recap on, on the end of the England series, I thought there were so many positives that we take out of it. I thought we batted unbelievably well. We, we, we need to do a little bit of work on our bowling and fielding, but, but batting's in good order. So that we've got a lot of positives to build on. It was a wonderful feeling today coming down as being part of a World Cup. Kit changed. Um, and it was just a, just a very freshness amongst the squad. Amir went very well today, bowled half an hour, um, and it went through pretty pretty rigorous fielding session. No problems with him. Shadab did exactly the same, and in the background now he's having a little bit of a hit. So I'm comfortable that those two new players coming in, or or the two players that, that were out through illness, have come back and come back well today. Yeah, look, look that, that fielding, as, as I've said, is just something that we've just got to keep working on. We've got to keep working on that. Yes, we prioritised it today, uh, we had some good facilities today, so we needed to get it done. Um, and there's, you know, there's no substitute for hard work. Fielding's confidence. You know, guys, guys picking the ball up, throwing well. We fielded, we fielded beautifully today. So um, we have prioritised it. We want to go into the World Cup really well. But I think the key for us now is we get our, our key fielders in key positions. You know, and, it's, and I'm not putting any weight on Shadab's shoulders, but the minute he comes in, he comes into cover point, which means that... Um, Baba Azam, whoever was at cover point, can then move to cover. We can move to extra cover. Fakir Zaman goes back into his short mid-wicket position. So our fielding, fielders then just go back to positions that they know. So I'm very comfortable that, uh, that we've got it covered now. Yeah, look, I, I, I'm incredibly happy with it. It's 10 hundreds, but unfortunately it's 10 hundreds in non-winning games. And that's something we've got to change. We're after that winning performance, obviously. But we sp we've been speaking about our strike rates for ages. Um, and you know, there was a, there's been a lot of talk around that, about Pakistan just being a 280, 290 side. Um, our players have taken that on board unbelievably well, and I think we can see the proof of the pudding has been in our in our batting through the series against England. I mean, our batting was outstanding. We went 340, uh, higher than 340, higher than 340, higher than 340, and and and, and after being six uh, six for three, we got ourselves to 297. So I think we can see comfortably that players have taken on board um, the fact that we needed to up our strike rates. We've taken on board the fact that we need to move with the times in terms of how we bat. And I'm incredibly confident now that our boys can get out there and do the job. We can chase, we can set. So I sit here comfortable in that, with that department. Yeah, look, I, I, I'm, I, I'm comfortable. I think we cover all our bases now. I think we've seen with the weather turning, turning quite nice and good here in England, I think reverse swing is going to play a role, certainly going to play a role. Um, the ability to, to, to bowl death and clinch and close out innings is, is an area that, that, that we've tried to prioritise. Um, we, we, we've got a good mix within our squad now that, that, that covers all those bases. So I'm very comfortable that, um, that we've got those, uh, those bases covered and we have the personnel uh, to deliver whatever conf uh, conditions we're going to get um, over, the, over the series.